hello. Saturday night. And I feel all right. How's everyone doing tonight? How is everyone doing tonight? First Saturday of the new year. Uh, hope you all... Well, I'm sure you, you caught the stream last part. Because why would you watch part four if you didn't watch part three? Um, but I hope your new year is going well. I hope your first week of the new year went well. Um, for those of us that are in the daily grind, I hope that first week of work uh, didn't suck too bad. Because let's be honest, it probably did. So how's everyone doing tonight? I am made of potatoes, Dr. Pepper, and chicken. All right, then. All right, then. Let's roll with that. Scene part two. You skipped a part. That's okay. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Tonight, we are doing everyone's favorite part of building a 3D printer. That's right. It, it, it's not printing the part. It's not sourcing the components. No, no, no. That's too much fun. Even, you know tramming the bed, you know, measuring belts. No, that that's... No, we're doing the most fun part of any printer build stream. Electronics. So we gotta, we gotta go step back. Step back a little bit. Step back a little bit. For those that missed the, the ending of part three, um, I forgot to print some pieces. So I have printed said pieces. So we, get, we gotta put our, our deck in. I've gone ahead and removed the bed. Um, for anyone who's ever built one of these printers, it's a lot easier to manhandle it, roll it around, um, when you don't have a 5 16th inch thick piece of aluminum uh, sitting in the printer. So my advice to you is do not install the bed until the very end. Get everything else in and then install the bed because if the bed is pretty much a standalone component, you don't need it in for a lot of what you're doing. Where the background music at? Right here. Um, I played around with stream elements, so hopefully everything should be correct here. Um, so it should have newest sub, so anyone who subscribes to the channel, your name should pop up here. Anyone who becomes a channel member, you should be there. And then latest donation. I think these are temporary ones because I was playing with Streamlabs, so, or stream elements, stream elements now. So it should all be set, and you should be able to read chat now. So hopefully everything's okay. If any uh, something seems funky, let me know. Okay, so where we left off was I got to put these little doodads in. That's what we forgot. M38 and M3 hammerhead nuts. Nothing fancy. So let's put these in. And I do have to move the overhead camera a little bit. I got to move. Oh. Hello. You're supposed to be mounted to something. Let's see here. Oh, that's why. Okay. I'm gonna unplug you for a second. And unplug you. I guess what happened is constantly moving it has unthreaded it. That's not good. We want you to be threaded in. I might have stripped the threads. Okay, we might not have an overhead cam, guys. We might not have an overhead cam. There we go. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. For all, for all, anyone, if this is your first stream, if this is your first stream, something always gets scuffed up at some point. So let's just get it out of the way um, right now, right at the beginning. And, uh, yeah, like, it, it, it's something bad always goes wrong. We, we know that. The, the ones who've been around a bit, you guys know that happens. So, gonna get that out of the way right now. There we go. There we go. Hey, we're back. We're back. That ain't... Uh, home video quality. Oh, we want high. Yeah. Let's see, are you shooting on cinema. Old movies. No, we vivid. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're back. We had a bit of technical difficulties. Never hurt anyone. That's how you know it's live. We want 21.9 4K 24p. Well, um, YouTube only allows you to upload at 6,000 kilobits. So, um, yeah. That orange sure got vivid. Well, here's the thing. Like, let me put this on my main screen so I can actually... I can, I can put on different... Because this camera sucks for color. So, like, it's either boring, bright, uh, Mexico, or old movies. So, we'll, we'll go with Vivid. So we, we either get the Terminator 2 future filter, the Mexico filter, or everything's bright. So. Watching from Gainesville. Do you lift, bro? All them gains. Spam. Uh, the thing is, like... Report... That's the worst spam ever, because it's in Russian and nobody understands what it's saying. So nobody's going to go to that website. So right now we're just putting in the little wire guards, and these right here, uh, they go on the back of the printer, and these will be where your Z um, wires come down. And they face towards the front. No point going on that cam because you can't see. Thank you for becoming a member. I don't know why the noise ain't playing. I'm not hearing it. Uh, YouTube caps out at 6,000. Right now I'm trying to push 10,000 to it and it's yelling at me. So uh, we recommend that you use a, a bit rate of 4,500. Ooh, they dropped it. It used to be 6,000. Yeah, the music. Okay. Uh, the difference between the 2.4 and the Trident? Uh, the 2.4, the bed don't move. On the Trident, the bed move. Beyond that, the gantry is the same. Well, will be the same. Because 2.4 is getting an update. But TLDR, do you want your bed to move up and down or do you want your gantry to move up and down? Personally, I think the gantry moving is cool. But that's just me. Let bed lifty or bed stay. Yep. It's not OBS, it's YouTube. YouTube's like, I can only take 4,500 kilobits a second. Why are you feeding me 10? And it's like, deal with it. So we got those in. Now we got to flip it and put the panel in. So again, this is why you don't put your bed in yet. And I need to find my panels. Oh, that one played. Mark, thank you for coming to member.
So all the panels for this kit are acrylic, I believe. Forty-five mega, yeah, megabits a second, yeah, but it is what it is. I mean, let's be honest, you don't pay to use YouTube, so it used to be six thousand. For some reason, it's dropped down to forty-five hundred. Everyone's streaming right now. I don't know. I'm lazy, so my OBS is just set for ten, <laughs> and it's like if you don't want it, then don't deal with it. So unless you want your unless you want the uh, the brown paper look, make sure you peel this stuff off before you install it. Otherwise, you're probably gonna have an annoying time. And you know what? Peel it from the side with not all the cutouts, so it actually peels easily. Note to self: Do this off stream before stream next time. So, just so you guys are aware, um, I, my schedule's freed up now during the year, like this year, compared to last year. So, I am actually free on Tuesdays and Fridays now during the day. Um, and I know it's kind of late for you, uh, for the Euro crew. So, um, I'm kind of bottlenecked right now in terms of builds. I've got four builds lined up right now. Um, I have stuff for two. I got Trident and the, the V0. And I have two more kits hopefully arriving in the next uh, month or so. So I may be throwing in some early in the day weekday streams on Monday and Tuesday. Or correction, Tuesday. Uh, it would just be Tuesday actually. So you might be getting some weekday streams. Has anyone tried the FCC mod? I'm not honestly a huge fan of flex cables, those FFC. Um, I have a few commercial machines, or yeah, I have two commercial machines that have them, and I, I'm personally not a huge fan. Um, the connector where the cable attaches to a PCB can be a weak point. Um, not always, but it can be. And you're limited. So if you did the FCC mod and all of a sudden uh, Stealth Burner comes out, and now you need to run three extra wires, and then you got fancy and you run to run uh, an extra wire because you want to upgrade to a PTC heater, um, or correction, um, like a PWM fan with uh, feedback or whatever for measuring RPM. Um, you, you can't easily add additional wires to those, so you're gonna run wires anyways. Um, I, I personally am not sold on the idea. I, I don't. Yes, it makes it a little bit cleaner, but I'd rather just buy a pre-made wire loom. And then also you have to use PCBs. You have to use custom PCBs for connecting everything. So I'm not personally a huge fan of that mod. I'm sure there are people that like it, but considering I, I change stuff on my printers on a whim because uh, I'm on the, the Voron dev team, um, I don't like how locked in it is, but that's just me. I ordered my integrated lead screw motors from Robot Dig. Are they okay? I have no idea. I've never ordered anything from Robot Dig. I will say this paper stuck really good to the acrylic. Yeah, unfortunately, this this isn't no PCMR grade uh, sticker peel. Unfortunately, there we go. 
fingerprint magnet. Yep, it is a fingerprint magnet. So, as you can see, because you can see yourselves there, say hi to yourself, chat. Yeah, you can see yourself. So you can see yourself. Uh, both sides are shiny. Um, I would prefer if one side was matte, so you had the option of going, you know, shiny or not shiny, but uh, this thing's gonna be a fingerprint magnet, unfortunately. So I'm not even gonna try. Um, and they sent me panels for a 300. Don't fit, Jim. So, why do I have big panels? Why is this panel little than every other panel? Okay, that's a big panel. That's a big panel. That's a big panel. Yeah. That's a big panel. So, every panel that I have is big, except for that one. All the other panels are appropriate sized, I believe. Yep. Every other panel is the right size except for the panel I absolutely need to build this. <sighs> Fun times. Do I have, let me check. Isaac. Yep, that's the wrong size panel. And I really don't have any sheets that are big enough to substitute. Because uh, I don't have any. Yeah. Right. Every panel they gave me um, is the right size. The back panel is the right size. But the, uh, the bottom panel is obviously for a 300, not a 350. So, that is a problem. So, what can we do? What can we do? Well, the problem is, um, this panel is sandwiched in there with all the electronics. Okay. So, I'm not going to be able to install electronics. Um, so I'd have to take it all out, okay? So I, I could put it in and then take it out. Um, and we'll probably do that just to make sure everything fits. But I'm gonna have to figure out a bottom plate now. So either I'm gonna have to, uh, cause it's by, I don't think they'll rush me one overnight, but you know what, they're gonna have to. In the hot end box. Oh, it's in the hot end box, that's right. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I can wire. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, you can sneak the panel in from the top later if you want. You know what? I can. I can. I could just loosen everything and just kind of shimmy it in there. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll just shimmy it in later. Skip ahead. Wire the gantry. Yep. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that's kind of a bummer. Let me just double check. So we got the no fitty panel. And all the other panels. So we got back panel, doors. Doors are too small. Doors are too small. Um, what panel has the curve cutouts? Is that the top panel? Why are there curve cutouts? Oh, this is the uh, bottom panel. The bottom, bottom. Uh, side, side, top. I believe. Yeah. 
So yeah, so the doors are too small and the uh, deck plate is too small. So I'm gonna be messaging the form bot guy or crushing the uh, Fizek guy and be like, yo, can I cut the bottom panel to act as a replacement? Um, I could, but this is acrylic. I'm gonna snap it. There's no way I can cut this um, by hand. So. Uh, rubber fist, uh, that's about right. Oh, and Echo 2 Papa 2, thank you for the five. So yeah, so uh, we'll just ignore that plate and I'll go get some, uh, hit, hit up Michaels for some uh, core blast. Yay. Cut all the extrusions down. Oh yeah, that's the easiest way to fix this. Okay. So I need to put in some M5s. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's okay. Can we just watch Doggo for 15 minutes? I can see if he's outside. What, you just laying over there, dog? Come here, Coda. No? No? What, why are you giving me that look? Okay, here he comes. He's just lying on the floor over there. Coming in. Come here. But you know I don't have any treats, so he's like, he's all hesitant to come because he you knows there's no treats in here. Are you sleeping? You're gonna sneeze, aren't you? gonna sneeze okay go back to your nap I guess what what's that face for Urgh. duff 699 Duggo. okay I don't have any Yeah, I'm really, uh, do I have a spare back there? No, I don't, shoot. I used to have a few extra sheets of Coroplast. I'm actually peeved about that. That is, uh, that's an easy thing not to mess up. And uh, they messed it up, so. It is what it is, unfortunately. take the side panel from tall boy I could but I, I really don't want a core plus bottom panel I'd rather have you know a proper one so we're just gonna skip it for now and then I'm gonna send an angry well not angry but I, I'm gonna send a, a message to George be like hey man so just so you're aware this is screwed up And Tallboy wouldn't work because Tallboy is 330. So I wouldn't be able to just uh, borrow that. It wouldn't fit. Are these the right size? Bill, 499. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, 
here's the thing, Rubber Fist. This isn't really a kit. This is a bomb in a box. So they just went down the list and everything they threw in. So the advantage of that is, you know, it's kind of hard to screw up if, you know, um, a motor is a motor type thing. But, you know, something like this. One of these is approximately uh, two millimeters longer than the other and doesn't fit. So I'm now gonna have to shot one of these down too. Um, Raymond, remember for 12 months, this is a thing. Yes, it is a thing. Plywood? I could do plywood. <laughs> so M516s. Ooh, button heads. Fancy. I can find my M516s. key of some sort. Ken Gross, I think I may prefer LDO kits. Well, I'm not a salesman. granite panels <laughs> one way of doing it I'm not gonna get a cereal now I don't have a bottom panel Transparent aluminum. Transparent aluminum. Computer. Roughly center of the DIN rails, space them apart, 80 millimeters. Okay. So, the fun part is this one don't fit. Well, it kind of fits. Ugh. So the problem is with these is there's really no easy way to shave them down. And I don't have a vice set up in this room. Uh, it is for sale now. There, I do have a link to this kit in uh, the description if you are interested. If I was at work, I would have air tools. And a vice. Now, luckily, this is made out of melted down Hot Wheels cars, like most uh, metal from uh, over there. So, got to make sure I vacuum my floor later. Almost. 
build a plasma table. Uh, if somebody wants to uh, donate a kit. I mean, I have a 3018. That does count as a CNC, right? I show up and he's already having to cut stuff. That's never a good sign. Yeah. Hey, Doc, you wouldn't happen to have a spare bottom panel for a 350 spec Trident, would you? Almost. Because they sent me a bottom panel, but it's a 300 spec. A spare hypotherm 65 amp. Um, I'd, I'd rather have a plasma in the a phase plasma in the 45 watt range. That's usually my go to. You know, a guy who can get one to me. You know, a lot of people, Doc. Next build a rat rig. You know what? If rat rig had the minion kit with the essentials available, like the without the printed part, I'm not paying for printed parts. I have enough shit here to make my own printed parts. But um, if they had like the hardware kit, um, minus the electronics, because I, I have enough electronics, I would buy one right now. But the only kit they have for sale right now is the full kit. So I, I really can't justify um, doing that but if they had their parts kit in which is like all the hardware um i would have a, a v minion kit on the way right now because i do want to build a rat rig of some sort and i'm not going to build the v core 3 because i don't need another large format core xy god knows i don't need another large format core xy i've already notified nemgria nemgria is awesome I need doors. Can't believe they didn't include that. That that is a I'm not happy with type of screw up. Uh, are PC panels better than acrylic? Um, the, depends how hot your printer is. This one's all PC. That panel's acrylic. Acrylic's easier to get and cheaper. And for the most part, you're probably not going to get to the point where you're going to actually run into issues if you're running acrylic. It does have a lower glass transition point. So it it can sag on like, you know, if you had a 350 spec and you're already always printing ABS fully enclosed and it was always hot in the chamber, the top panel might droop down after a while because it is acrylic. Um, but it's nothing I would like freak out about. So what is that? So that's 16 and a half inches, so 16 and a quarter. Bada bing, bada boom. 80 millimeters apart. Let's say 80 millimeters apart from where? Center the DIN rails and space them 80. Are we talking 80 millimeters apart from the hardware? Or 80 millimeters apart from the printed parts? And yes, I'm fully aware I use both metric and uh, there. 
Okay, I'm assuming 80 millimeters for the hardware. So rail to rail. Yeah, ACM is actually less insulating. I did not know that. So Toasty Boy, um, I'm not going to replace the ACM. I'm going to throw a blanket on it, honestly. But even then, I'm printing polycarbonates, no problem, and nylons, so I'm not super concerned. It's okay to mix units, just set, don't send a probe to Mars. I understood that reference. And the only reason I'm using inches is because my scale is, uh... My big scale's in inches only, so... But it's a kit review, so this is just another thing to add to the kit review. So it is what it is. I'm pretty sure I'm like the first one that has one of these kits. So for anyone who's ever ordered a kit off AliExpress and you got one of the first ones, you know they'd never come, uh, never come too great that first batch. Okay, screw them in place, M38s to hold them down. Because you can never have enough M38s. So are acrylic panels preferred over ACM? It depends. Honestly, I guarantee you most people aren't going to notice a perform any performance difference in terms of like heat temperatures and whatnot. I... Like, you can't see it because chat's in the way. But, like, I, I really do like the look of uh, Toasty down there with all ACM panels. But you can get, you know, if you're in the U.S., you can get smoked plastic. Like, tap plastic does smoked acrylic. So you can get all tinted and whatnot. It, it's personal preference, really. Like, honestly, I wish this was a 300 kit, simply for the fact that I don't have room. Although it does fit um, beside uh, Tallboy there, or Tallboy. So right now I have a, uh, a Delta on the ground, because I don't know where I'm gonna put that now. Okay, so we got those in. Uh, there's supposed to be these little spacers on the back. Um, these guys right here. So these clip on the back so that your panel doesn't rattle. I guess. So, we just kind of put them there for now, so I don't forget about them. Okay. Uh, polycarbonate scratches, if you look at it. That is true, like, the front panel here for uh, V226, this panel is now three and a half years old, almost, and it's just the front panel, it's pretty scratched up. Where the acrylic panel on uh, Tallboy is fine. Okay, so we got some twist locks on the side here. And these are for uh, your motor wires, I guess. What hot end or what connectors do I use? Uh, Molex Microfit 3. Okay, do these go on the 
inside, they go on the inside, okay. And these just twist into spice, so... I need to get a better tripod. This tripod sucks. High ceiling. Stay. So these guys just kind of... And this is for your wire from your motor. And your uh, gantry, I bet. tripod you're drunk it's uh it's, it's what happens when you buy a tripod at walmart for 4.99 okay so those guys are in there now we're gonna mount some electronics so we got a pie bracket with some m m210s Got into my liquor cabinet. That would explain a lot. I don't have any liquor right now. Oh, that's flat. Out. I am all out. Where did my good one go? Oh, there it is. Let's get a bit in here because I'm not doing this by hand. Doc, fifty dollars. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, fix them being out of liquor situation immediately. Or ASAP. Well, unfortunately I live in Canada, so everything's closed by now. But, uh, I'll have it fixed by next week. I, uh, I had a very good, uh, Christmas, New Year's, uh, break, so. I need a little downtime. Okay, now we're gonna take the Raspberry Pi. So, for now, I am gonna mount the Pi. Um, I probably will substitute this out for a Pi um, Zero W2, uh, simply for the fact that um, Pi 4s are hard to get right now. So I'm just gonna steal this. But for now, because the kit comes with it, um, I am gonna use what the kit comes with. I will steal it later. Jeremy Webb, five dollars. Thank you, appreciate it. What is that tiny screwdriver? It's an ES uh, one twenty six, and I should probably start throwing an affiliate link in every one of my descriptions for it because people always ask what it is. Where the heck did I put all the little screws? But I do have a video on my channel where I talk about it. Oh, there they are. Can gross five dollars liver recovery fund. Well, actually, no, because then if you give me money, I'm just gonna go but spend it on liquor, and so that's the opposite of the liquor recovery fund. You shouldn't have a liquor recovery fund. But I'll take it. Any pie is hard to get right now. I know I have uh I have a whole whack load of pie zeros collecting dust right now.
Oh, these are gonna strip like heck, I know it. I don't know what it is, but every time we use little screws to mount pies, they always get stripped. Devin, 10 Canadian, Liver Destruction Fund. That I can get with. Cheers. You know, it's just G Fuel. I need to turn off the conversion. I, the fact that it's converting it to Canadian and that, that wonderful... But it's $10. Why is it converting it to 780 Canadian? It's already Canadian. Go home, stream elements, you're drunk. Yeah, these I don't like these screws. So this kit comes with like Phillips and they're like stripping like mad. Um, I know I have a whole bunch of M2 self taps. I don't like these. I do not like itty bitty Phillips. Itty billy, itty bitty Phillips sucks. I could fit M3s. M3s will fit, but the problem is the mount is designed for M2s. So I'd completely blow apart the mount. That's a little bit better. We'll just throw two in for now. Philip M2 should be a crime. Yeah, Phillips heads are, uh, I'm not a fan of Phillips head. Superior Robertson master race. M2.5 is the underrated cooler friend of M2. I do have M2.5s, but it, it probably cracked us mount. So there we go. So I got two in. Good enough. It's a Raspberry Pi. It's not like it's going anywhere. So we got the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we got the five volt power supply. These are held on with M36s. LRS 200, RS 20. Is there a Pi Zero Two mount? Um, I'm sure there's one somewhere in a mod file or something. Because for anyone who puts a 350 watt power supply of war on, enjoy the whining fan. Yeah, you could just use a normal pie mount, it's just two holes. You would just use two instead of uh, four. 
M4, six. Ooh, fancy M4. Ooh, Aaron R, five dollars. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, sent you a GitHub link to the Pi Zero bracket and Discord DM if you want to go with the Pi Zero. Thank you. Are those M4s? Those look like M4s. Yes, it does have a spider board. And yes, the spider board can power your Raspberry Pi. But, again, they just threw the bomb in a box. So it's the, the, the full bill of materials. And the full bill of materials includes a 5-volt power supply. So they included a 5-volt power supply. Because that's what's in the bomb. And this is the bill of materials in a box. I need to introduce you to our Lord and Savior, the Meanwell UHP 35024. Is that the one that also does like 5 volt and 12 volt as well? Because I have a, a, a UHP 200 and Toasty. Oh, just 24. Oh, and the Trident. Oh, the fanless 350. Yeah. That would be nice. The fan and uh, Toasty is, or Switchwire, or it's now Kenny. Um, it's kind of annoying. Okay, so now controller board. So this controller is a spider. So I need to make some spider mounts here. I hate these little screws. Oh, I can't wait to start the V0 build again. Have so much fun with all the little M3 button heads. Thank God it's based on an LDO kit. Where'd I get the apron? Amazon. I don't have a link for it right now. Controller. Why does it look that way? We use a dummy to keep the size of the printer CAD manageable. The wiring section will have a fully featured image. So there's your controller board. It's a, um, a flat plane. And that's because if you actually insert the CAD for the controller board, it has like more control more components than an entire Voron. So. so this is the controller board that came with the kit. It's a Fizek uh, Spider 
uh, 2.2, I believe. Yeah, 2.2, V2.2. So it can do um, 24 or 48 volts to two motors if you want. So I'm just feeding it. This kit only comes with 24 volts. So um, I'm jumpered. I think that's right. Yeah. So it's only feeding it. I'm only doing 24 volts. But I do have... Why would you glue these shut? There it is. Double set the jumper is uh, correct. I will double check. So I do have some high volt 5160s. Warning! 48 and 24 volts must be powered at the same time, otherwise the driver will burn out. So I do have some of these. I'm not going to use them though. I'm just using uh, 51, your your generic 51 or 20 or what is it? TMC 2209s. Yeah, I'm just going to use 2209s. Okay, and M36. Okay, I'm not going to use button heads because the button heads won't fit. Button head fit there. Button head will fit there. Fortunately, there's a uh, there's a big heckin' connector there. So unfortunately, I can't put a button head here. The button head won't fit because a massive connector in the way. That's okay. I got some socket heads I'll use. Um, uh, some of my 0.9 LDO motors are allowed. I had that on, um, on Toasty. Yeah, I, I had 0.9 LDOs that were loud. I swapped them for... 1.8s and it was fine. That's great. Spider 2.2 has a uh, a fuse under there. Yeah, that ain't good. Uh, technically the drivers I believe are supposed to be interchangeable, but uh, personally I recommend use drivers from the board manufacturer least amount of issues. So, we have a little bit of a clearance issue here, clearance. So I'm gonna put that that way. I think they're supposed to go in, Does I don't think it really matters, but I'm gonna put this one like this so that it clears that issue. Yeah, rotate them out. That's what I'm doing. I just got to rotate on both sides. Oh, 
Well, they did send the hot end. And from... I do have every one of these videos, these build videos, I will be pinning a comment. And the first comment on all these videos is, have you purchased this kit or any FISEC kit recently? And what are your experiences? And everyone who has has said they have the hot end. So from what it looks like is they don't ship the kit normally with the hot end in the box. They take the hot end out of the box for whatever reason and then they ship the hot end wrapped up. Um, so in my case, they shipped me an empty box because somebody screwed up. So that's how you know I didn't get a cherry pick kit. Which I guess is a good thing. You know, for fair review pr practices. Um, how is the whale too? I'm going to be doing a video on it. Um, I want to try and do the Enraged Rabbit Carrot Feeder video. I got to do... So right now... Um, Pi Pico, I'm recording a video on this tomorrow. The SKR Pico. Um, and then I want to do an Enraged Rabbit Carrot Feeder video, hopefully this week. So hopefully two videos this week, we'll see. But, uh, I have to have the Whale 2 video out by next week. That's what they want. Um, but I'm liking it. Um, yes, I know that original stream we had. We had a bunch of issues with getting it level. But since I've gotten it level, the thing has been 100%. I haven't had to fiddle with it once. Um, and it's been knocking it out of the park. Um, so here's an Eiffel Tower that I printed on it. And this is full, well, uh, 240 millimeters of Zed. I think it goes up to like 256. So Eiffel Tower, no issues. And then I also did this. Um, it's totally not a Games Workshop Sister of Battle. But it's a Sister of Battle. And this is all in Soraya Tech Smokey. So yeah, it, it's actually, it's working fine. Um, the, my biggest gripe is it is the slicer software. It turns out you pretty much have to use their slicer. Uh, but it's got built-in Wi-Fi, so that's good. Um, their slicer is slow and awkward and the bed leveling is annoying, but beyond that, it's functionally, it's fine. Big tree tech is watching. Yes. The SKR Pico is right here. I'm not going to be putting it in a printer. Because, let's be honest, it's a 32-bit board with uh, TMC 2209s. It'll function the same as every 32-bit board with 2209s running Clipper on a printer. But the fact that it's, you know, a little bit of a teaser and why this board is a little and awesome. Um, there's your board. It literally stacks on a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> And it's got four drivers, so. It's pretty much a great, it, it's pretty much, you know, I think they designed it with the V0 in mind. They use the V0 in their marketing, but. Yeah, it's tiny. And it's got three CNC fans. Remember when like, Fully featured controller boards like the SKR 1.3 would come with like one CNC fan and you would have to use the uh, secondary heater hookup for your second fan if you wanted two controlled fans. Remember those days? Okay, uh, so now I got to put an inlet. Find my inlet. Where is my inlet? I know I printed one. Here it is. Inlet. Oh, there are the boxes under here. Uh, Lychee 3.62 has support for Whale 2 now. Okay, that's good. Uh, their slicer is pretty much 
based off of lychee, as far as I'm aware. So this doesn't come with a filtered inlet. It comes with your generic uh, one that hopefully doesn't burn my house down. We'll see. I'm hoping it doesn't burn my house down. I like my house. It's almost paid for. Doesn't quite fit. Doesn't quite fit. That's okay. We'll make it fit. Hello, Dunkle. Did I miss a lot? Um, well, Fizek sent me the wrong bottom panel or uh, deck plate. And I'm putting electronics on brackets right now and filing plastic parts to fit. Okay, so it snaps in with a solid click. Um, get yourself a bastard file. It comes really handy. Uh, but do you like the previous owners of the wiring in the basement? No, I, uh, this wiring down here scares me at times. So this goes in the back. So this goes right there. Like, there are times I wish, like, they didn't finish the basement so that I could have finished the basement and done it properly, but it is what it is. And just for fun, I actually printed these skirt pieces uh, with a 0.8 nozzle. So you really get the layer lines because I like that effect. I actually like the look of layer lines on printers. So these are all printed with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. The little mic, am I still plugging along with the Trinet? Yes. that question Kit was asking? Yeah. Uh, CHT re Rapido and Tallboy. Um, actually, yeah, it does have, a, it has a Rapido and it has a CHT. It's got a 0.6 CHT in it. Okay, so it looks like the power supply goes in over here. So the power supply in the back, so party in the back. back and then it looks like I have a little stabilizer piece too so that's M4 6 that's M3 oh what did I print with the point eight? Oh, the Revo because I sh supposed to be doing a review on it of some sort although honestly reviewing Reviewing something that just works is kind of hard. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna parade any print part comparisons with the Revo video. There's no point. Because I can show you prints off my machine, but I guarantee you they're not gonna be the same as prints off your machine, even with the same hot end. So why would I show you prints? It prints good. It prints as good as the machine is capable of printing.
The review is it just works. Well, put it this way. I've been running a Revo since, uh, since I got this beta unit right here. Um, and the only reason the beta is, unit is out is so I can run a production one in there. And I just throw them in and I, they just work. <laughs> like I've had zero issues. The only, I've had one nozzle jam um, out of both of them in months of printing. It was on the, the V6 or the Revo 6 um, and one cold pull and it was fixed. So yeah. So there we go. So that right there is a, uh, there you go. So it's a stabilizer for the power supply. So it doesn't rock. Uh, will I update the stealth burner in V226? It is, right now I'm running a beta. I was, the previous one that I bit was running for a long time uh, was a very first revision one, but right now it's running a beta one. I haven't done any wiring for them yet. I've been lazy. Um, SSRs. SSR, SSR. So it comes with an Omron SSR. So credit where credit is due, it's an Omron SSR. Do I know that rapido means quick in Italian and I'm pronouncing it wrong? I'm not Italian. If I was Italian, I would use my hands more. Yeah, we'll have the high volt on that side. And I'm pretty sure this is held in with The M4s, so I don't know. I think it's M4s. Which Revo would I recommend for the switch wire? Okay, so the only reason I'm running a Revo 6 in switch wire is because that's what E3D sent me. They sent me a Revo Micro and, an e and a Revo 6. So when it comes to purchasing a Revo 6 or a Revo Micro, um, it depends what you're currently running in your printer, okay? Um, if you currently have a V6 and you want something that just drops right in, get a Revo 6 because it literally drops right in. It is same size as a V6. So I have the Stealth Burner V6 mount in there and it's running a Revo 6 just fine. Um, and then we do have uh, micro mounts. So this is a micro with the, the screw top. We have micro mounts, um, so you can use that. Um, but what's really curious, go watch Joel's uh, video uh, where he interviews Claire, Claire from E3D, um, because they mentioned that they're working on other mounts. I don't know what they're for. So depending on your printer, you might want to wait. So I don't know what they're working on. So you might want to wait depending, you know, if you have a, if you have a commercial machine, you might want to wait. Cause they said they have, I think it's two, uh, they're working on. So it might be one of them. So I don't know if they'll announce that before or after though. So you might have to, you know, wait, I don't know. Oh, I did this backwards. Yeah. I, why am I doing this backwards? I have the power supply on the wrong side. But right now uh, for Voron, um, Micro and Six are both supported because Micro is supported and then the Six is supported because it's, you know, it's a V6. <laughs> There. That goes like that. 
this side. There we go. That makes more sense. Yeah, because then all the power is in the one side there. Too late, Micro already ordered. Did you use my affiliate link in the in the description to help out your, your favorite 3D printer YouTuber? There is an affiliate link for E3D in the description. If you want to help out your uh, your favorite 3D printer YouTuber. <laughs> and while you're down there, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Consider becoming a Patreon supporter or YouTube member. Other YouTube shilling speeches. So these are all, eh, that one moves a little bit. The rest of these are solid. Uh, okay. And by the way, if you message me on Discord during the stream, I don't get notifications, so. They have it in stream mode. Okay, so this goes on this side, I guess. For some reason it's a little wonky, but whatever. Raspberry Pi ain't going anywhere. And then we have our controller board. So, motor's in the front. So all the motors are gonna have to go to the front, so they're gonna have to run around all that, but it is what it is. Because do I want the power there, or do I want the power? Yeah. You know what, I'll do this. That way I can run power like that and keep all the, uh... Yeah, there we go, I'll do that. I could always flip it if I don't like it. There we go. Have you seen the new Creality High Temperature Hot End, which you can pay to test? Um, no? Okay, so now we're doing the XY end stop pod. Sweet. So that'll be easy to do because we're upside down right now. So this printer does have, um, it comes with a little X, Y, N stop board. Why would you pay to test a hot air? That don't make sense. Where is my end stop board? Is it with the bag of extras? Oh, it's in this little kit here. There we go. With all my drivers. Okay, so this kit comes with this. Um, it comes with a little X, Y, end stop board. So. So it just goes like that. Well, that ain't gonna fit there, and that ain't gonna fit there. Okay, so their screw holes don't line up with what's in here for the PCB board, and then their screw holes don't line up with this board. So I'm gonna have to find wherever the file is for this one and print it, because this one won't work.
printed the wrong part. Well, I, I printed the standard one and the um, the one like the one you screw the KW tens in, and the one that uses the Hall effect. I thought the board used the same screws as the Hall effect. I guess I was wrong. Hot end of the month club. Hot end subscription only works. <laughs> It's the heart K board. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll print that off. Um, do I have stuff in here? I do have stuff in here. I don't know which ones are which. Shoot. Some of these are four millimeter and some of these are three millimeter because I didn't know what size the board was. So we'll just kind of separate them like that. There we go. So you said it's the heart K board. Pictures, toasty. Um, GitHub. Micron mix, heart K slicer tabs, repositories. Four on two. Skills, test print, four. four. Where is your board at? There we go. Say yes, ba -ba -ba, boom, boom, boom. I don't think it really matters. It's a freaking board. G code save. Let that run. Oh, don't want to lose this guy. So, um, while we're installing that, we'll let that print. Obviously, we can carry on without it. So, okay, end stop board. Where did I put the end stop board? It's in there. Okay, don't lose the end stop board. That would be bad. It goes there. Skip that. Wiring. Input voltage switch. Okay, what voltage are we running at? 115 volts, that's good. What about the little power supply? Um, little power supply has a switch, right? Or does it not have a switch? Yeah, little power supply does not have a switch. Right? Right. Yeah, RS-25 is just, yeah, it just takes it, I believe. Okay, so we're good there. Mains wiring inlet. So we're gonna do some mains wiring it looks like. Yay, fun times. Let's see what the kit comes with for mains wiring and see if I'm gonna be scared. Because um, I'm gonna use what the kit comes with. 
So I've got these. So I've got some wires that are just bare on the ends. And then I've got a red, a blue, and a yellow. Oop, those are long. Black, red. So I've got I got a bunch of different colors here. Oh, that guy stand ten dollars. Thank you, appreciate it. Paying the late to the party and doggo tax. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. So that's okay. We have the guide, the Fizek guide. So I am rando guy who bought a kit and I don't know what a printer is. So now I'm looking at this. Where do my power go? Where do my power go? So we got a green, a brown, and a blue coming from the switch. So yeah. So we got a red, a black, and a red. So right off the bat, um, yeah. And then these wires are not long enough to reach that power supply. So, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I should be stretching my wires that long. So we are gonna do some fixing here. We're gonna have to remake some wires. So I'm already not liking you. Oh, they really crimped these on. Oh, David's here. Everyone say hi, David. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am not sold on their wiring job here. Why would you do that? Why would you do it that way? Wait, what the heck? Oh, they got the three-way one. Uh, I hate I hate these inlets. One second. I know I have a spare one somewhere. I don't like these inlets. I don't like these inlets at all. Uh, this is one of them. Yeah, these are one of the sketchy ones. Yeah, I wish I, I had a, f ah, I think I'm all out. I used to have some of the Adams Tech ones. Yeah, this one's missing a fuse. Yeah, I'm not liking that. So we're gonna skip doing under the hood wiring tonight. We're gonna work from the gantry down because uh, I'm gonna do it myself. I'm not a huge fan of their, uh, what they've given me here for wires. I am not a huge fan. Ugh. Oh, that'll do it. He stopped. Hey, want to know something funny? When you put your flex plate down, make sure your uh, it's not on top of your Z end stop. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. There we go. That's much better. Print. Try again. Okay. But it's a review. Yeah, and I'm reviewing that right now. That the fact that I can't connect my ground is no bueno. So you go bye-bye, because you're a useful, useless ground. Um, and then I got a pot red and blue, like. 
Your colors don't even match your pitchers. And it's that three prong switch. I'm not a huge fan of the three prong style. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this switch. I'll swap it out for something else that I like. Move the PSU. I could move the PSU, but it's designed to go there for because it's got a anti wobble bracket. So it's got a little bracket over there for anti wobble on this side, and it, that kind of defeats the purpose. So what I'm going to do is I have wire. I have plenty of wire. I'm just going to swap it to a switch I like later. And I'll just make a note of it in the kit. Because that's one thing I... I have no problem running, you know, a, a wire that I know will fail because that's what the kit came with. Um, but mains wiring, I don't faff about with. If, if I don't think mains wiring is safe, like what they sent me, um, or if I'm not 100% happy with it, I will change it because I'm not risking that. It's mains wiring. So... Besides, it's easier to do all the under the hood stuff at once, considering I gotta swap out a panel and whatnot. So yeah, so this is SSR stuff and whatnot. So yeah, let's do gantry stuff. We'll wire up some gantry stuff. And continue from there. So we should have some motor extensions in here. So B motor and A motor. Isn't blue brown wiring on mains Euroland wiring colors? I believe so. I'm North American though. And the pictures they have here are brown, blue, and green. And I don't have any brown, blue, or green wires. I've got blue, red, and yellow and black. So, so when you're looking at it, you're, it's ba, like a sheep. So this is the B over here, and this is the A. So that goes in there. Now, are these wires long enough? That is the question. That is the multi-million dollar question. Well, one, they're not going to fit through there, so I'm going to have to take this cover off. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the backpack. That is one thing I'm gonna miss. Like, no joke, I like the backpack. Now for wires, are they, what even kind of wires are these? These are... Uh, I think these are just PVC. Oh, no, they are FEP. These are FEP wires, according to the late what uh, says on them. So that's good. A little bit of a, a W there. So at least they are FEP. Yeah, 120, 115. It, potato, potato.
So the problem with silicone wire, silicone wire is nice because it's really flexible, right? It's very flexible. The problem is it's also soft. So when it's just out and about enjoying nature, it's fine, okay? The problem is, is when you stuff it in a drag chain, what happens is a lot of drag chains, especially the cheap Chinese drag chains, um, the injection molding on them isn't the greatest. So what happens is it actually, it wears away the coating. Um, FEP or um, PTFE wire, um, which I've got some over there, which I'll probably have to dig into for this build, um, is more robust. Um, or the, 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 the coating is more robust. It's not gonna wear away as easily because it's a, it's a sturdier uh, material. And then also it's thinner. So you have less crowding in the drag chain, so less wear. So if you're going new, build with uh, FEP or hexafloral, flip, blah, 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 whatever the Germans like, or PTFE. I believe the sourcing guide recommendation is going to be updated soon. Because right now I think it still says um, silicone, but... That's just because it hasn't been updated in a while. Oh, okay, taking the cover off. So what we're gonna do is tool head wiring. Everyone likes tool head wiring. I like tool head wiring. Do you like tool head wiring? I love tool head wiring. Because the first thing we're gonna have to do is get our uh, Raptor kit it out here because right now it ain't gonna work as is go here comes the accusation of being paid off by big fat Okay, so for those that don't know, um, I'm using a Raptor, which is um, apparently nobody like has. So it's a little bit funky. Um, the way it comes is it comes with uh, the heater and thermistor pre-installed. And I have to solder on some extensions because the wiring for the heater is not long enough. And it's like, I kind of have to make it work through here, I guess, for wiring. Yeah, so we're gonna come up there. So I'm gonna have to solder some extensions on here to uh, make it work. Okay, that's kind of a little unnerving, the fact that I can in that. There we go. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to solder on some extensions on this so that we can uh, actually attach stuff to it. Shouldn't mean too much, but we're gonna solder on some PTFE because why not? I like PTFE wire. And you also want high uh, use a connector instead. Um, the problem is it's too short. Like I, I don't want to put it. Ah, where will the connector end up? Where will the connector end up? Because I also can't put a connector because it's single strand. It's a heater wire and it's single strand. So what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I don't want to put a connector there. I'm just going to solder on some extension wire and then put the connector on that instead. So we'll do that. But you also want high strand count. It's not just, you know, 
uh, PTFE or FEP uh, coding, you also want high strand count. So you want like 19 strand count, I believe. Um, so if it's seven strand count, that's not good. Uh, fun fact, there's a million Ender 3 printing right now that don't use fancy magic wire. Correct, because they don't stuff their wires in uh, drag chains um, with 21 other wires and they don't whip it around at 300 millimeters a second. Whereas these machines do. And we have seen those fancy PVC wires that are okay on enders uh, destroy themselves in it. So, um, yeah, environment, it's a thing. Use case, it's a thing. Uh, okay. I need power. Sorry, switch wire, you don't need your brain right now. That's hot. Do this over the edge so I don't melt myself again. Use flux. This is uh, soldering wire with flux in it. This is leaded solder with a flux core. And for those wondering, I suffer from essential tremors, so I always shake. So, that's why you see me shaking like mad, because I always do. That one ain't good. I'm gonna have to redo that one. what kind of wire they used on this. But this solid core wire does not like being soldered to. and shiny. Try this again. There we go. There we go. Oh, good.
better than crimping it. I can't crimp it, it's single strand. Single strand crimping usually doesn't work out good, I found. And they're going to be held between two uh, two zip tie locations, so it's not like they're going to be moving or anything. So, twist them and crimp they're already sh too short like not only are they short they're uh single strand so i'd rather just put proper wire on because now i'm working with proper wire Yes, they do. Oh, the Russian bot is back. No, don't add moderator. Report. Goodbye. Uh, what is a good profile to start with? It depends on your printer. If you're running like a, a like you know an Ender three, start with like the default Ender three profile, and go from there. Well, this is a Raptor, and which isn't exactly a common hot end. Um, again, shout out to the uh, the Czech channel on the Voron Discord for hooking me up with it, Sanity, and the rest. I'd, I'd say a Tomas, I think. Um, but they, it's primarily aimed at, I think, more commercial people. The this hot end. That's why you don't really see a lot of it mentioned. But it does exist. A lot of people didn't think it existed because nobody had their hands on one and there's like no videos on YouTube, but here it is. It's a thing. It does exist. Yeah, if you got questions about print quality, ask Doc. Just don't bug them. So I'm gonna need a piece of PTFE now because I'm mounting this semi-permanently now. out about what is that 11 millimeters I think the number is 11 
Way too much. Way too much. There we go. I hate when the fans fall out. Oh well. So one thing that kind of concerns me right now is all the components on the tool head, uh, save for the heater, the hot end, um, come pre-wired. So I have, you know, fan wires here that are labeled to go all the way down to the, uh, all the way down to the controller. And they're pre, apparently made for the entire length of the run. So the question is, do I actually have enough? It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting. So what I'm gonna do is actually run one. I'm gonna put my drag chains in and see if I have enough. Because right now, the fact that I've got uh, wiring that's too short under the hood, a panel that doesn't fit, um, isn't leaving me with massive confidence that the wire that they have there is long enough. Now, I'm gonna put a connector in there. I'm not just gonna have single wire runs go all the way from the, the fan. I got, you know, you need to disconnect it at some point. So I'm gonna dig out my drag chains and we're gonna install the drag chains and see how much room we have to play with. So this is well, the bed's got enough, luckily. I think the dog's at the door again. What? What? Hey, buddy. Where's your boy? Where's your boy? Oh boy. Harry, you happy? Here's how's your ears doing. Oh, they're doing better. Check it out. Well, that one's doing good. Yeah, I'll clean them later. Okay. No, I don't have any treats. It's okay. You're getting fur all over the print room. Like, I, I, I know fur strengthens prints when it's in resin prints, but I'm not doing any resin printing right now, so I don't need your uh, assistance. Okay? Go hang out with Mama. Mopey dog, I know he wants treats. I gotta stop with the treats. That's why I'm not giving him treats because he get, thinks he gets treats all the time now when he comes in here. And I'm not saying it's because of you guys, but it's because of you guys.
So I am jumping the gun a little bit by putting the drag chains in, but we're doing this to find out how screwed I am when it comes to wiring with this kit. So it's for the greater good. These are supposed to be button heads, right? What does it say for the drag chains? What does it say for the drag chains? M36. So, well, for one, the kit doesn't come with enough M36 for uh, drag chains. That's for sure. Interview stream with Doc. One day. One day. these uh the china chains because they you can tell the mold has an issue with it because they all the parts have the exact same issue in the same spot with a drag line so we are putting all this in simply so i know if i am screwed with wiring Because if we know that this is long enough, then we know they all got to be at least this long and we're good. Because basically what I'm doing, I don't want to go ahead and cut all these at the tool head, install mo micro fit threes, and then run them all the way down and find out they're six inches too short to the controller board. And then I, I either have to replace the whole wire, lose a bunch of micro fits because I don't have the tool to uh, redo them and you know basically be a pain in the butt so i'd rather just you know spend 10 minutes right now install the chains run one wire down and make sure it's good which for you guys at home if you're worried about cutting your wires too short do this run one wire or a couple wires from the tool head down to your controller and uh just verify that it fits and if it fits, it fits. If it don't fit, it don't fit. Okay. So right off the bat, These are way too long, but they're supposed to be too long. And that doesn't make that radius. That's okay. Cable comb? What's a cable comb? Uh, no, this is actually FEP wiring. Um, all these are labeled FEP. Uh, yeah, they all say FEP on it. 
every wire. Well, except for the, they, they expect me to wire up the tool head using just the tool head wire. Same with the probe. So that stuff's getting replaced, obviously. Because uh, that is no bueno. So you're all the way at the front. Already, first issue with the kit is the uh, we don't have enough. Well, another issue with the kit, not the first issue. We've already had run into the first issue and the second and the third, and I think we're on the fourth or the fifth. Um, not enough M36s, button heads, or yeah, we do not have enough of them. So what do I do to check wire length? Well, right now I'm running one wire all the way from the tool head down to the bottom to uh, make sure that uh, I have enough wire here. Because what I'm concerned is they just got the same wire length for everything. Um, because I'm pretty sure I do not have enough connectors in the kit um, that I've got. And they're, they're expecting me to use all the connectors that are pre-installed on all these. So we're kind of, so I'm trying to use the kit that they sent. That is the whole point of this is to try and use exactly what they sent me as best as I can. Obviously that ain't gonna happen with everything as we've already found out with the mains wiring. I'm gonna be changing some stuff up, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I can't get a bot in here. I should actually. By now, I probably should have a bot, but I'm horrible. I, I'm I'm horrible at YouTubing the right way. I'm supposed to have like a bot and all kinds of stuff reminding you to like and subscribe and consider becoming a member and blah, 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 all that stuff. But was it Nightbot? That's what everyone uses. I don't know. It's part of stream elements. I can use it, but I just don't bother with it. It's like merch. I set up a merch store. Nobody knows about it. Like, I think well, I sold a sticker. You can get that from the channel. It's actually really crappy. I need to hit up Fiverr and get some proper artwork. Instead of just, hey guys, buy my channel logo on a t-shirt. I make $3.97 if you do. It's actually about that bad. <laughs> Uh, 
I think we're okay, actually. I think we are okay. front and you're there Okay, so, oh yeah, Ooh. we got our wire, it comes out over here, okay, we have a little, did I not print the cover? Oh, uh, I forgot to print the wire cover, okay, I gotta print the wire cover, unless this is it, yeah, this is it right here. Okay, so it comes out. Got a little wire cover here. Okay. So that comes out. We come down, we go under here, and then we gotta go over here. So yeah, we do have enough wire. Yay! Yay! Yeah, boy! We're good, okay. Now, undo everything I just did. Excuse me? Baking powder? Okay, so now the favorite part of the stream. The absolute most funnest part of the stream. Crimping, because while this kit has enough wire to run directly from your fan, for example, down to your controller board, do not do that, okay? You want connectors at the tool head. You, you want to be able to disconnect your tool head and, oh, hey, I had a fan die. I don't want to rerun wires all the way down to the bottom. So, unfortunately, um, this kit comes with a bunch of JST connectors. And I do have a bag of extras. I do have a bag of extras. Not much, but there are some. And I don't know what this is for. But I do not have, what I do not have is a bag of... Um, Molex Microfit KKs, or Microfit 3s. So, I have my own. So, what time is it now? We're probably gonna spend the rest of the stream crimping. Everyone's favorite time. Is that a Wayne's World reference? Chia. One sip whiskey after crimp. I don't have any whiskey. I've, I've got G Fuel. Um, use code Wubby for 30% off. Nope. No alcohol. No, I'm not going dry. It's just, I don't have any alcohol right now. And I had a, I had a good amount over the holidays, so I'm trying to keep it a little, uh, So that one's good there. So we're gonna have to put on there. So the heater that this comes with, first thing of wiring I gotta replace is it just comes with the heater. Like the heater for this and thermistor wire are long enough 
but uh, don't use this wire. The wire on your heater cartridge, do not use that. The 24 volt, 50 watt, yeah. So do not shove this in a drag chain. If I tried the candies, you know what? We'll try the candies right now. The, sorry, Sanity, but the, the candies, they, they just sit in my closet here with like, I have them with all the other stuff you set, so. Ooh, Tuffo. Because not only, like, I have a child in the house. I have to hide candy. So, we got some Slavia, which is, um, I, I have no bloody clue what any of this stuff is. So these are Czech candy from the Czech Republic. It's Nestle, of course. Um, I, I can't speak Czech. Um... I don't know what that is. That looks like a chocolate. This is a toffee, so that's probably a safe one. Bun Pari, which is probably a, I don't know, Mentolki, Mentolki, a mint, I'm assuming of some sort. And Haskerly. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. They're all Nestle. We'll go with the toffee. I like toffee. We'll try the toffee. I like toffee. <clears throat> licorice. Oh, licorice. Ooh. So these kind of look like a Werther. I love how everything like, oh, here's our, our, some traditional Czech Republic candies. It's all Nestle. It's all Nestle. Everything's Nestle worldwide. Okay, so this looks like a Werther. Sebo. That's good. actually pretty good. I am not going to complain about those. Those are good. I'm on a diet, so i got to be careful. How many calories are these? 400 kilocalories. Cool. Okay, how do I wire up all these other ones? Uh, mail on that. Pretty sure the males get the pins, I think. Right? No, males get the square part. Bought some cheap 321 blocks for square and should have gotten a different product. Tons of oil on these. Yeah, anything you buy off like AliExpress or anything like made in China is gonna come with a ton of oil on it just so it doesn't rust. Cause who knows how long it sits in a warehouse and then sits in a sea can across the ocean. Diet, die with a T. Um, I wanna try and drop about 20 pounds right now. Cause it sucks. The first year we had the little guy, I packed on quite a bit. And then that Christmas, I was like, okay, I need to, I need to cut some. So over like four or five months, I dropped about 25, almost 30 pounds. I, I just went down to like crazy calorie. I didn't do anything but just calorie count, but just cut down, you know, I used to eat a ton of pizza and fast food, but then we had COVID. So kind of undid most of that. Unfortunately.
Come here. We're crimping. Let's put some lo-fi on. Crimping and lo-fi music. Hand in hand. Lock in, dang it. There we go. Click. And... There we go. Yeah. You always want to make sure they're locked in. You really don't want those not locked in. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. Now, I don't know which fan wires these are, so we're just going to kind of roll the dice, and it'll be fan one and fan two. So hopefully um, one of these, you know, you can easily flip around if you grab the wrong one. Uh, saw I was on Discord talking about the patent thing. Yes, yeah, so I know there was a big hubbub going on about the patent thing. It's actually a trademark issue, not a patent thing. Um, the design is open source, so it's already under a GPL license, so you can't really patent it. But you can claim copyright of the Voron name. Um, some guy in China did it, and a few other countries, people have tried it and are doing it. Um, I will say, stuff is being handled behind the scenes. Uh, pretty much everyone who is armchair lawyering about it um, is wrong about a lot of things. Um, so, at this point, I'm just going to say you guys don't need to worry about it. Things are being handled, hopefully. Um, and I'm not going to comment more on it till you know, there's actually something to comment on. Because after that very first post, I had like 20 people over the past week saying I should be canceling this stream altogether and I should be making a video calling out Fizek and yada, yada, yada. Fizek's not even the one who patented or trademarked Voron that started this whole thing. So everyone's like, oh, they're the only store that's still up on uh, AliExpress selling Voron stuff. Um, you do know it's Chinese New Year. A lot of stores use that time to uh, refresh their stores or, you know, change stuff up for sales or simply take the store page down so they don't have to uh, deal with sales over the New Year. That is kind of a, a common thing with some stores. That's what Trackle Labs is doing. So, yeah. Most people don't know what they're really talking about. Most people don't have all the info. Even we don't have all the info, but is what it is so hold tight don't jump to conclusions it's usually not a good thing to do Diego greetings from double T hello there yeah blue rolls uh, basically TLDR some guy in China trademark Voron and since they own the name they wanted you know Hey, we own the rights. If you want to use the name, you have to pay us. The company said no. He filed claims against them. 
Some companies apparently made deals, some did not. I don't know the whole story, but it's none of the companies that you think they are that are, are the ones doing it. And so what happened is because, you know, random guy trademarks Voron and starts threatening them, all the companies get worried that they'll be next. So what they do is they all start filing patents for every other open source thing. So instead of, you know, Voron, they trying to, you know, patent Trident, try to patent, you know, V0, try to patent everything. And everyone's doing it because they don't want, if they figure if they don't do it, somebody else will do it and then make a claim against them. So a lot of these patents actually got through, or trademarks got thrown out. Like they didn't, they didn't go through, but they still had to file it because they don't want to be the guy or the company that doesn't file it and then somebody else does and then uses it against them. So, you know, it's a little bit like a Cold War. And in the middle is just, you know, a bunch of guys who have fun designing printers <laughs> who are horrible at running a company that isn't a company. And for those curious, oh, why didn't you guys do this sooner? Why don't you guys try and trademark? Um, we looked into it. There was somebody on the team did look into it. If we want to trade Vor Voron in like the top 50 countries, it's like tens of thousands of dollars, like like a lot of money, like ability to purchase a small house in some places, money. If we wanted to like fully lock down Voron in like all the common, or in every country that has built a Voron or something like that. And the uh, Voron's income is um, none. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say it's none. There's there's a few affiliate links that basically pay for some dev funds, and that's about it. is that one now some people like to bundle up their connectors so run like instead of like two two pin connectors run like a four pin connector for the fans to like double them up same with your heater and your uh your your heater and your thermistor cartridge same thing double them up mm, personal preference i don't do that too often but if that is something you want to do that is something you can do To trademark Vorn and related stuff in the most common 50 countries would be six figures in USD. And a lot of that is lawyers. Um, and yeah, we are horrible business people. It, Voron's a horrible business. Everyone makes money on Voron except, you know, the Voron team. <laughs> Every now and then Jason sends out a cool kit. I got a, an LDO. Oh, Jason, if you're listening, I don't know if you're live or here. Um, thank you for the umbrella. It's awesome. And the Christmas card and New Year's card. I just got it today. Thank you. Five dollars. Thank you. Appreciate it. Money for the Voron to hire Barry Zuckelman. Or Zuckelcorn. Who? Well, don't give it to me. Well, feel free to donate to me. But if you're donating to me, expecting to go to Voron on my stream. No. The Nero live stream show is not affiliated with Voron. It is me. Try to keep them distinct. Just in case something does happen in the future. I 
While I am a member of the Voron Design team, anything I say or do during the live stream is not to be representative of the Voron team itself and is the sole opinion of Taylor. Which, that's my name. I know I never say it that often, but my name is Taylor. Hi. Meaning check toffee. It's good. It's actually really good. <laughs> it was like a Werther's other than uh, that doesn't go bye-bye so quickly. Can I explain the spark? What spark? I've said my name several times on stream in the past. <laughs> like it's not a, it's not an open, it's, you know, I'm not like, you know, at the level where I'm going to use my full name as my channel name, like Joel or whatever. I figure we're at the point you guys should know my name or I'm fine with you guys knowing my name. Besides, actually saying Neuro 3D as a referring to me is, I, I don't know, I still find that weird. That's the channel name. My name is Taylor. So I've been doing this for almost two years now. And it's still weird when I'm talking to somebody like, oh, you have a YouTube channel. What's your, what's your channel name? It's like, oh, Neuro 3D. They're like, what? It's like, um, you ever use Neuro burning software? What? Yeah. <laughs> Are these the wrong pins here? they going in. Uh, Duff? No. Yeah, no, that, that is where the name's from. So, it is literally way back in ye olde days of early internet in like, oh jeez, 98, 99, when I was signing up for like my Hotmail account to play like StarCraft or whatever. Um, actually, it may have been my StarCraft account, my Battle.net account. I needed a name, and uh, that software was installed on the computer, and I'm like, that name sounds cool, so I used it. Why the heck won't you go in? Did I use the wrong fittings for this? I did, that's why. Should have used the box ones. Wrong fitting on the wrong side, that's why. That was an Uber driver. Well, that's actually like on most games, that's what it is. It's Uber Nero. Like, that's what my email address is. That's where the name originally is. It's Uber Nero. That's like. I can't remember. I, I was playing. I think I was playing Wolfenstein, and like the bad guys are like Uber soldiers or something. And I'm like, oh, that's a cool name because obviously Nero itself was taken. So it's just like, oh, let's just use Uber Nero. That was that's cool. And you know, twelve year old me thought that was a great name. And now you know, every year age me after that has been too lazy to change it. So. <laughs> Like, let's be honest, how many people are still using their Counter-Strike name as, like, their online handle? Because that's what Russian cat food is. It's his Counter-Strike name. Yeah. 
No microfit? No, the kit did not come with microfit connectors. The kit assumes you're gonna run the wires all the way down to the tool head or down to the controller board. I am not gonna be doing that. Because uh, screw that. <laughs> Good, our good old IRC handle over here. Yeah, Y2K Mac. Yep. So I'm assuming your name is Mac and you probably made it around the year 2000. Yahoo username since 95. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a funny thing. I used to be, so years ago, I was an insurance broker. So I worked for a company like an insurance brokerage. And, you know, part of setting up policies is at a certain point, you have to ask people, you know, what their email address is. And... You know, your your professional email should be like, you know, you know, your first name, your last name, and like your your birth year or something like that, right? So John Smith 96, for example. You know, that's that's a good professional email address, you know. That you would use for like businesses or setting up insurance or whatever. Now, the amount of people that like their email is still like chunky lover of 69. Or like loves to splooge or something like that is ridiculous how many people still have email addresses like that at like 44 years old uh, what brand of steppers would you recommend for XYZ motors um it depends uh, I like LDO motors and I run a lot of OMCs. So LDO makes good motor kits um, and standalone, like their motors are good and OMC motors are good. I use them both. Um, the OMCs I found are a bit torquier. Uh, and then some people swear by the LDOs for noise and accuracy. Um, it's kind of like, you know, that one's all OMC, that one's OMC, that's LDO, that's LDO, that's LDO. This one's Fizek. Like, I, I use what I have. But LDO do make motor kits for Voron. So if you want to get them like all at once, LDO. If you just want like one motor to screw around with, uh, well, still, you can get LDO. I think LDO only sell in kits actually. Not 100% sure. Sorry, not Randy's email, his character's name. Ah, dang it. I was off on my 15-year-old reference. Sorry. So these are the fans. So what I'm going to do is just get a little piece of tape here and just kind of, actually I got a little marker somewhere and just write fan on them.
fan and fan. There we go. F and F. So those are fans. Surprise you don't have another printer with something going on. I know I had it earlier, it's done now. Here's that uh missing piece we were missing. Ooh, I gouged the heck out of that PI. That PI is dead. Oh well. I got replacement sheets. You know you killed a PI good when uh, you can see the gouge mark in the part. Okay, so now we can put that little uh, end stop board on that we didn't put on earlier. Supposed to put a heat set in the heart K board. I don't think so. I think it's just yeah, no. No, it just screws in. So this is a little end stop pod board that the kit comes with for the XY end stops. So instead of them being two separate Two separate end stops that you have to solder all together and everything. It's this little, it's very simple PCB that just turns it into one board and then you got a connector. Is that one of the new ones from, from Brico? Yes, it is. And luckily he said spares. <laughs> That's actually the first uh, PI sheet I've killed, like from crashing in ever. Normally I wear them out. Building a Trident, my current printer can do quality. I'm hoping to reprint everything. Well, if your current printer can do quality ABS parts, why do you need to redo everything? size screws do I need to hold this on? M330s. Killed by a spider. A lot of spiders have died, unfortunately. Their first batch of them had uh, issues, unfortunately. Just gotta drill this out. misleveling a delta I am I only got the one delta and it has an auto level so yay thankfully Okay, that clicks. That clicks, so we're good. And by the way, I may do wiring off stream on this guy, simply because you guys have seen me do wiring a million billion times. It's wiring. It's, go watch my V2 stream, my V0 stream, my switch wire stream, my V1.8 stream. It, it's wiring, it's, it's wiring. Motor 
wires. And again, these are all FEP. I did check the motor wires, so we're good there. Make sure they're long enough. Yep, we're good. Uh, what is preferred, spider octopus? Uh, either work. Um, I know more people are using octopus than spiders. I have both. They both work just fine. At least mine do. Um, this one is using a spider that has an octopus. This has a spider. Um, I have some octopus pros that I'm going to play with in the next build. Um, we'll see, but they both work. If it's 32 bit and has TMC 2209s, it'll perform the same as all other 32 bit TMC 2209 boards. Look at the board, what it has. If it has the features you like and the board is reliable, you're good to go pretty much. Uh, high voltage with the Pro, yes. The, the Pro is high voltage. Um, I'm hoping maybe this guy, I'll do a high voltage. I'll, I'll bump, I'll throw a 48 volt in it and we'll, we'll play around. But the thing is I don't do speed printing and I don't have any issues with not enough torque. So like for me to go to high voltage, I don't really get anything that I'm currently lacking. Like I don't have any issues with my my current machines in terms of a, you know, I'm not, uh, I need more power. I need more power. I don't, I don't have any issues with my current power. power that was a joke that wasn't a joke I was being serious why would I, why would I make voltage jokes having fun yet mr. Krabs don't make voltage joke there's too much resistance yeah. So amped up. Okay, it's funny. Anytime somebody makes any, like, it's just something I've noticed. Anytime somebody makes any joke about electricity, Everyone just goes right into amperage puns and ohm puns and current puns and, and really bad jokes. Like something with electrical terms, the moment somebody allows somebody else to make a joke, everyone just jumps at it and just goes. Okay, so what colors are we gonna do? We're gonna do, ba -ba -ba -da. what's the order? Black, green, red, blue. Black, green, red, blue.
Somehow there's 300 people here thinking this is funny. Currently, I don't get it. Why am I not shocked? I know exactly. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a grounded individual. But, like, I just don't sense it. The only downside with these, like, FEP wires is they're, they're like, stiff to work with. Hiding chat. <laughs> All I know is this lo-fi beats are starting to nod me off. We need something. Let's go back to... Uh... See, if this was Twitch, I could play something other than, you know, copyright free music. Because YouTube, I'll get DMCA'd within like 30 seconds of trying something. High voltage. Danger, danger. really peeved about this missing back or uh, panel like I, I'm legit peeved about that <laughs> that I'm missing the deck plate on this build or they sent the wrong size because if I was building this at home which I am this is my basement um, I'd be stuck because I wouldn't want to install the bed like, I, I could do what I'm doing right now, but I, I, you know, I'd have to contact Fizek. You know, it's Chinese New Year right now, so actually I'm not even going to get a hold of him. It's Chinese New Year. So I'm going to have to find somebody else to supply that. LDO Motors, Jason! There you are, Jason. I got your umbrella. Your, your Christmas package showed up. Thank you for the umbrella and the card. It was very thoughtful. Thank you. Oh, I got them all. One, two, three, four. Uh, so yeah, let me read. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Voron Friends. Sorry, late support for uh, the little kid has hit a feeder. Oh, I hope he's okay. Hope he's okay. Just be safe out there right now. Like, we've had, oh God, so many people at work have tested positive over the past week. It's like a, ridiculous. It's like a running joke who's next. It's like Hunger Games type stuff right now. weeks away oh it's three weeks okay i knew it was coming up soon but still it's gonna throw out a tussle in your build caught over christmas finally to work in my printer again after getting over it mostly Oof. like literally every day this work this day or this week at work somebody's had to leave mid shift and i'm on afternoons and there's not a lot of guys on afternoons but every day this week, somebody has had to leave mid-shift at work because they got a call from, like, their wife or their, you know, uh, a sibling or somebody they live with. Hey, I have COVID. You live at with me. You probably shouldn't be at work right now. Come home. 
And then a few of them go home and take a, a rapid test or whatever, and they test positive. So it's like, oh, they were just at work and they were positive. Great. So much fun. You get a COVID, you get a COVID. Yeah, I can't wait to get that LDO kit. The V2 kit's gonna be a fun build. I'm I'm legit looking forward to that. Because let's be honest, let's be honest. I've already built a V0. I've already built a V0, okay? And uh, you know, you, you you old frogs, you guys who've been around for a while, you 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 probably watched my original V0 build or my V2 build. But uh, for those that you know, we're looking for help for building a V0, you know. And where is it? Where is it? Oh, I got a playlist. Uh, where is it? There we go. Where is it? So yeah, like, for those that have been around for a while, here is part one of the original, like, back in my day. Here, here, here is the quality we dealt with. <laughs> no music. So, Listen to that audio. Mosquito. Hey, look, it's a mosquito and a dragon. So yeah, so think of the, the LDO uh, V2 build as like the remastered edition of the V0 build. Uh, it'll be the remastered edition. And I gotta buy wire, because I don't have enough wire, uh, high gauge wire for this. Ooh, I gotta buy some wire. Okay, I gotta buy some wire this week. That headset, that headset sucked. It was the only headset I had, like I didn't want to take the one I had upstairs and I found that in the basement and it was just plug in. And it sat behind your head and it always fell off. I hated it. I, I wore it for like one week. Uh. Oh, DFH, hello. Oh, Jason again, 20, uh, thank you. LDO 2.4 300 kit production will ship around February 10th. Updated to our reseller shipping company push in the cutoff date to around 115. So we really can't catch the timing. Oh yeah, it's Chinese New Year, that sucks. So much room, that was in the other room. Back in the other room that sucked actually because it was smaller. So here comes the part that I hate where I have to trim this and not cut the wires inside. Yeah, so for, you know, those that are paying attention, I'll give you a, a snippet of the schedule. Uh, we have the Trident build here. And then after Trident build, we got another V2. Or correction, V0. But that V0 will actually be given away. Um, whenever LDO, or correction, sorry. Whenever E3D gets their uh, charity set up in Sanjay's name, um, or foundation or whatever they, they end up setting up, um, we will be doing a charity live stream with all funds going towards that. And then also the grand prize will be a fully built V0. And it's a Lecter kit that I'm using, which has a lot of LDO parts, but it's LDO parts plus extras. And then um, some guy sending me a Micron frame. I don't know, he's some crazy guy. So we'll have that to play with too. Hoping I'm not cutting that wire. So some guy, crazy guy is making me a, uh, a Micron kit and we'll be building that as well. I'm always paranoid cutting this. The same guy who sent me the Urkfa 
Yeah, that guy. He doesn't sleep much, from what I can tell. Apparently, I made him a little too popular, and he got busy. Probably needs staff. Yeah, that might help. I hate these probe case wires. Try not to cut the wires underneath. Every time I do this, I always end up cutting a wire, and I don't like cutting wire. There we go. Okay. Yeah, didn't break anything. Ah, this sucks. So normally these probes. Uh, oops, I did have it on the right camera. Um, there's like a chalk inside here. So that these slide off nice and slippery. This doesn't have it for some reason. There we go. So they wanted me to run this through the chain. That is like what they expected um, because this kit has no extra wire. Like it has no extra 20 or 24 gauge wire. So, I don't have enough. I'm going to have to order some and hopefully I can find some in Canada that'll get here this week for the heater. Uh, Matt, from what I understand, yes, they will be doing um, 2.4 or 250 size kits. 250 size, best size, by the way. But from my understanding, um, they'll be delayed simply because they're smaller than all the other ones. So they'll have to get, you know, it's the least commonly built one. So they're just, they're building the most common kits first, which makes sense. Yeah, somebody did a poll and it's like for every one 250 there's like 10 300s or 350s like 250s aren't that common personally i think it's a great size but i'll be building a 300 i believe yeah 300 yeah they build what sells which they're a company what do you expect it's you know it is what it is like Revo everyone's like why aren't they putting out you know high flow Revo and like all these other variants right now it's like they're ramping up in-house production of a brand new hot end ecosystem they're gonna they're gonna focus on the variant that is the most common and will probably sell the most right off the bat before they start you know increasing uh, variant capacity Focus on the meat and potatoes first. Some big stickers. I do need to get, I need to put something on the wall so I can put stickers. I think I'm gonna put something in this little, cause I wanted to put a TV here originally, but I don't have enough room. I just bought a, a, a new lens for the main camera for videos. So that should hopefully be here this week. I might, I'm thinking of bumping this lens because this lens right here is a 24 mil. And we'll play around with lenses like field of view. Uh, part of me wants to drop the coin on a Sigma 16 because, you know, I'm a streamer and all streamers need a, a Sigma 16 to stream with, right? But this is a 24 mil and this is a field of view. I just feel like what I'm doing, this whole area is dead. 
Like, yeah, chat's down here, but like, my problem is there's nothing there. So even if I bump it over and you can see the mess that is my storage area, I still have all this dead area. I, I need more vertical, but that means it's zoomed out. So yeah, I don't know. Dancers in the back. Um, yeah, we could do that. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Jason, again, $10, thank you, appreciate it. Just realize your wiring isn't there. No, there is no pre-wired cables in this kit. This kit is a, I'm starting to use different terms for things because it's obvious that, uh, one second. I gotta make DFH happy one second here. So I'm starting to realize that um, the we need to start renaming stuff because right now this isn't a kit. This is a bomb in a box. This is the bill of materials in a box. And it's basically the same as sourcing everything yourself, only somebody else did it. So you, you sent out Uber Eats and they picked up the bill of materials, okay? Um, so I'm gonna stop calling these kits. Well, eh, I don't know. Need to change up the terminology. It, it's a bill of materials in a box. When I when you say kit, you think like a Prusa kit or an LDO kit where you literally just put it all together. This is a little bit different. This is, you know, I think we're gonna start, I'm gonna start referring, using that term more. So what is it? Black, blue, brown. Oh wait, I put the, how did I put one on the wrong kind? The same work, no, there, there's, as soon as I opened this up, I knew that I was gonna run into issues as soon as I got to the wiring. Like I'm already gonna have to order wires because I'm short certain sizes. So I'm hoping I could find some uh, FEP or PTFE wire in Canada in the next week. But I know I'm not gonna get it from AliExpress in a week. And that's probably gonna be pricey because Canada tax. Uh, they save you time putting it all in a box and then you lost either source of parts that they either failed to send or sent the wrong time. Uh, if anyone's ever built a kit build before, you're, they're never perfect. Like pretty much all the AliExpress kits, you're saving time by not having to source everything and you're usually saving a little bit of money on, on shipping, but The issue is, it's just some guy running down the, you know, it's it's Uber Eats throwing everything in a box for you, right? You, you have no control if they decide to change up what's in it. Uh, the first batches of kits were really bad. Like, I will say so far, the actual hardware in this kit hasn't been bad. Um, if you're if you're fine building everything yourself, like, I've been, I've seen people source their own stuff that was worse than what was in this kit. Now, obviously we don't have it up and running yet, but like, the extrusions are good, the rails are good. 
uh, the motors seem okay. Like, the actual hardware in the kit seems fine. Um, but it's just a bunch of parts in a box. It's not a, uh, a full-on bill of material, so. Sparta 3D at PTFE wire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit them up because I'm gonna have to, uh, I need some ABS. Uh, uh, DFH, we'll, we'll chat after, DM me. Send a DM and I'll reply after the stream, which I'm probably, oh, 11. I'm gonna be ending stream soon anyways. Yeah, I'll actually probably be ending stream in a second here. So, maybe down there. there we go. No, no, I don't want that. What is it? It's Alt. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end the stream there. Um, I'm gonna figure out this panel. What I'm gonna do about the panel. And a few other things after stream. Message a few people who do some things and see what we can do. Um, I probably will do some wiring if stuff shows up. I'll finish wiring up the tool head and run the wires. You've seen me wire something up once. You've seen me wire something up a million times. So I'm hoping by next week we can flip it upside down, hook up everything up under the hood, um, and hopefully maybe start software stuff. Hopefully next week. We'll see. I'll get the bed put together and install that as well. Um, we'll probably do that part on stream. So we'll see, hopefully one or two more streams of construction, a stream of software and then print. So can I write the FH? Uh, So yeah, um, uh, I should save the wire pulling for OnlyFans. You know what? Um, eh, if I have time Tuesday, I'll do a member stream. So if you wanna, if you're a member of the channel or a Patreon supporter, I'll try and do maybe Tuesday. I'm gonna do one by the end of the month, but if I have time Tuesday, um, follow the social medias, follow me on Twitter, I'll announce. If not, I probably won't because I won't have wire, so there's no point. So actually, scrub that whole idea. Maybe Friday. We'll see. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to call the stream there. Uh, it's 10, 11, 11. Um, I'll leave it open for like 10, 15 minutes while I kind of organize if anyone has any questions or wants to ask about anything I did on the stream that they missed. Um, yeah. That really sucks about this panel. I'm actually really peeved about that. <laughs> And then let's see, what, what do they give me for the front? So, I knew I should have ordered more wire. I knew I should have ordered more wire a while ago and I skipped it because I'm like, you know what? I have 20 gauge for heaters and I I don't have enough because I used it on another build. Uh, you've got me thinking I should double check my panels. Yeah, double check your panels, guys. You never know. Yeah. So the the sides and the top panel are okay. Let me grab the let me grab the doors because the doors are too small. Yeah. Um, I think there's somebody on the team that might be able to get me panels quick, so I'm gonna try and hit up them. Three hundred doors. Yeah, these are three hundred doors. So yeah, um, well, it's a cube. So obviously, let me get rid of the dancing baby. So yeah, obviously, um, yeah, three hundred doors. Because Toasty's a two fifty. 
Yeah, these are 300 doors. But it's funny, they got the height right. The height is right. It's the width is wrong. How do you screw that up? Cantilevered Corex Z, what do you think? Have at her. Yeah, they are 50 millimeters short. Yeah, so they're okay on the Z, but they're they're wrong on the X. It's an inspection opening, yeah. Uh, three doors down, no, just two. Yeah. Doesn't scale in Z. Oh, I know, maybe I'll put them like this. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, the Z is always the same on Trident builds. Uh, this is a 250Z. This is only 250Z, but it's 350 on the XY. That really sucks. I'm kind of peeved about that. <laughs> Still. It's it's not the height. It's the, the door opening. Like, okay, the frame is the same size on the X and the Y, right? So it's a, it's a cube. So I don't need to spin it for you to see this. But if this was the front of the printer... Here are the two door panels. As you can see, there's a bit of a hole in the middle. <laughs> they don't fit, but they're fine on the Z. So they're they're fine for height. They just these are 300 panels. They're not 350 panels. And then same with the uh, the bottom plate. The bottom plate, this is a 350 bottom plate, so it don't fit. Well, the problem is it fits too good. As you can see, I shouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> just a little bit of a gap, just a, just a little bit of a gap. So. Hey, I got fodder for um, CNC if I get a CNC. <sighs> oh well, duct tape gap. Uh, I got black electrical tape. Like, let's at least, you know, be serious about it. Uh, now you've assembled it, how would you compare the rail mounting on the Trident? And it's printed blocks of frame to the 2.4 is the same with your rail. Um, obviously this is a this is a simpler construction than the uh, the blocks, just cause you gotta you gotta hold a belt in there. But it's it's not it's simpler. But they function pretty much the same. Like, Trident is a simpler build over a. Uh, yeah, Trident is is a simpler build over a uh, a V2. But this part up is the same. The only difference is this part down, and it's not exactly a massive difference. We're talking like you know, it, it's not a massive difference in terms of you know how complicated it is. The, the four, you know, you can build the, the tackle boxes down here. And then there's a little bit more work with getting the gantry into the machine, but it's obviously, it's not massive. So. PLA printed doors. Oh, oh yeah, it's any, like, I, this is a, hey, um, I'm not going to say who, but somebody who made panels for my, uh, my Trident build, or for Toasty Boy, same thing. They um, they made them the wrong size in one axis by accident. They they sent me 300 panels when I needed 250s, but it was only in one axis it was off. So I'm assuming it's something that's an easy mistake. So uh, I wonder if somebody got 350 panels. Probably. Maybe they got my hot end too. By 300. No, this is this is 350 by 350 by 250. It's only 250 on the Z. This would actually be a great machine for like TIFF, something like this, because you got all your XY and then there's not a lot of tall. So this honestly, this machine will probably be, take over 
this guy as my parts machine. Um, actually, I gotta swap out nozzles on here before I forget. Because I need to start printing Micron parts. So for those that uh, stuck around for the full stream, um, I don't know, smash the like button because that's how serious I am. I said it properly. But uh, for the Micron build, we are going with a fancy frame. Uh, where is some? I need some frame. Where is it? The one there. I am running out of filament. Holy crap. Oh, no, there it is. I got it in a box. Ugh. When you think you're running out of colors and then you realize you have boxes of it that you just haven't opened yet. So yes, like that smash button. So for Trident, or for Micron, which the V0 will be built, but it will be kind of a rush build. Um, it's an LDO based, well, mostly LDO based kit. So it'll go together really quick. Um, I've already done one in like 10 hours. But for the Micron, um, where did I get Prusa ASA in Canada? Some very cool people sent me it. There are a few plate resellers that carry it, but um, it's expensive. So for the Micron, um, we'll see if anyone gets the reference, okay? Uh, DFH, are you still in chat? Can I share that picture you sent me of the color that I'll be using? Am I allowed to share that? Yes, okay. So, the Micron frame. Um, this is the color I will be using for the Micron frame. It is, what did he say it was? Powder coated white? Yeah, powder coated white. So the Micron frame will be powder coated white. Okay. Um, the main color will be, uh, what is this? Sparkle Elegant Teal from Sparta 3D. I might have to buy another spool of this. And then the accent will be a sparkle fluorescent blue. Okay. Um, printer will be called Nora. Let's see if anyone understands that reference. I'm hoping it works out the way I like I'm thinking for the colors. I'm hoping that the colors work out the way I'm thinking, but I'm going with Nora for the name. And that's the first time I've actually picked a name before I started the build, other than Toasty Boy. No, not in Gone 60. That's Eleanor. Nora. Think of the colors. What are, what are the colors reflective of? LTT home server rack bright pink. <laughs> oh my god. I was tempted to get a pink frame just because, but no. Nero back. That doesn't even make sense. That's... Or, orange? Orange? How do I have to spell that? O... R E N. Orin. No, that makes no sense. Uh, Aurora Borealis at this time of the year localized entirely in your print room? Yes. Can I see it? No, the the ABS fumes. The resin machine's running. Orin lights. No, nobody's gotten it yet. If nobody gets it, I'm going to be surprised. It's not a Halo reference. If somebody gets it, I'll say what it is, but nobody's got it yet. Uh, go. Let me just put a, a, a new fresh PI plate. Replace the one I destroyed before I forget and try to go print something without a plate on the bed. Uh. Oh, the, the Russian bot is getting smart. Forong, Forong, yeah. It's learning and it's banned. Wife's name, no, it's not my wife's name, it's not a Simpsons reference. 
Okay, so I'm going to end the stream there. Um, I got to figure out how to get some panels and wires by the end of this week. So, um, for those that join the stream, you guys are awesome. For anyone who hung out, you're awesome. I was hoping to get a bit more done today, but obviously we ran into a little bit of a uh, issue with supply from the kit. It is what it is, unfortunately. It do be what it do be. So, um, next week, next Saturday, next stream, carry on. Um, I'll, I'll knock out some of the boring wiring, hopefully in the meantime. Um, hopefully a video or two this week um, on the Escar Pico and whatnot. Um, what else? What else? Anyone who donated to the stream, you're awesome. Anyone who became a member of the channel, you're awesome. Uh, anyone who subscribed, you're awesome. Anyone who donated, you're awesome. Um, anyone who's just watching, you're awesome because of you guys. You allow me to do the things I do and create the content I create, make it all possible. So yeah, um, missed the beginning. What am I missing? Um, the deck plate, which is the plate that's supposed to go in here, which you're supposed to put in before you put the electronics in because everything gets sandwiched, is the wrong size. And I'm, I need some more wiring because the wire they gave isn't rated to run in drag chains for some of it, but not all of it. And then we spent some time crimping. So yeah, an arrow reference now. Defoss my breads. Ah, you're getting close. Um, nope, tomorrow's pancake day. Pancakes, I love pancakes. So everyone, take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, be safe out there. Wash your hands. Cheers. Sanity got it. <laughs>